Are you constantly looking for an easy way to send files from like your iPhone to a Mac device? Or do you have a bunch of students in your classroom? Or are you in a staff meeting and you just quickly want to send a file, an image, or just something to another coworker, another student? AirDrop is the feature for you if you have any type of Apple device. Doesn't matter if you're on iPad, MacBook, iPhone, any of those devices, AirDrop is the capability of sending one file from one Apple device to another. Doesn't matter the kind of device. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how to set it up with some of the settings and actually use it by sending a file from my iPhone to my MacBook, from my MacBook to my iPhone. Before we jump in though, please please take a minute and hit that subscribe button down below. While you're down there, just scoot over from there and hit that little bell icon so you can stay up to date with all my latest video tutorials. Otherwise, let's jump over to my Mac. So now that we're on my screen, you can see on the right hand side is my MacBook screen and on the left hand side I have my iPhone screen so you can kind of see how this works on both sides of this. The first thing you do want to make sure is that Bluetooth is turned on for both of your devices as Bluetooth does need to be enabled. So the first thing you want to do is on your Mac, you'll see on this left hand side column, you'll see AirDrop. And you want to tap on that. Now down below, you're going to see allow me to be discovered by everyone is what I'm set to right now. Out of default, it's usually set to no one. So if that's enabled, your MacBook or whatever device has that set to no one will not be seen at all. So if you don't want people to airdrop to you, just go into airdrop and change that to no one and no one will be able to send you any files. You can have it be contacts only. So if the person's in your contacts, they'll only be able to send you stuff. But that means they have to be logged in with their Apple ID and all those things, which depending on your use case for this, that can be perfectly fine. It just depends on how you use it. For my MacBook, I just leave it for everyone because I don't really take my MacBook and use it in places where a lot of people can airdrop. The other thing you can do is leave it to no one. And when you know somebody needs to airdrop you something, you can go in really quickly and turn it to everyone, let the person send it and turn it back off. So there's lots of options and it's really quick and easy to do. You just come into airdrop and change that setting right there. Now on your phone, you want to go into your settings for the first time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for airdrop. And you're going to see one of the options is airdrop general. And you've got a couple options here. You can turn receiving off, meaning you can only send stuff to people instead of receive stuff. You can set it to contacts only, or you can set it to everyone. Now on your phone, you want to be very, very careful about setting it to everyone. I do it knowing the risks and I'm in a very, not a highly populated area, so it's not a big deal, but I can tell you I've had my phone at the movie theater before, and because I had it set to everyone, I've received some interesting file sends of certain kinds of images. So you do want to be careful. If I was in a really populated area, I'd probably set it to contacts only or just turn receiving off and just change it as I need because it's pretty quick and easy to get into those settings. So I'm going to leave it to everyone. And now what you're going to see is on the MacBook side, you're going to see Adam Metzler iPhone. And that's my phone that you see here on the left hand side. So what we want to do is send an example file. So I'm going to open up another window here. I'm going to go into my four score and let me just go to like trumpet solos. So say I want to send this file, a hymn, to the a hymn for the lost and living, and I want to send that file to my iPhone. All I need to do is click and drag it right on top of myself. And what you're going to see is on my iPhone, it's going to pop up and ask what I want to do to it. So I could actually choose to have it open in all these different programs that are on here. So what I'm going to do is tell it, let's open in my files. So what you're going to see is it's going to send it to my iCloud drive and it's going to put it in my files and I hit save and you're going to see it pops right up on my phone screen. So if you have somebody that you want to send a file to, you'll just look for them in your airdrop section, drag the file to them and off you go. So I'm going to close out of that, get back to my home screen. Now I want to show you another way to do this from your MacBook that's a little bit easier. Because right now you have to 
go into your finder, click on AirDrop, and then wait for the person to load up, and then click and drag it over to them. So the other way you can do this is, let me jump back to the solo, bring it up. All you need to do is hold down the control button on your keyboard and click on the file, or you can take two fingers and click at the same time if you have a trackpad. And one of the options is share. And under the share options, you're gonna see AirDrop. So if I click on that, it might take a couple of seconds to show up, but you're gonna see it's gonna show, right now it just shows myself, but if there was more devices, you would actually see a list of all the devices. So you can tap on that, and it's sending it right to my phone. You'll see that pop-up appeared where I can choose what I wanna open it in. So for now, I'm gonna hit cancel, and I'm gonna hit done. So that's how you can send a file using AirDrop from a Mac device to, it doesn't matter if it's another MacBook you would see in this list or an iOS device. That's the first way. So now I'm going to show how to send a file from your phone to another device. And this would also work the same if you're on an iPad. And for the phone, it makes it really easy because it works the same no matter what app you are in. You want to use that share menu. So for example, I'm going to go into a photos and let's say I wanted to send this picture of my new puppy that we got. You're going to see down on the bottom left, you've got that little common share icon. And it looks like a little box with an up arrow in it. And if I tap on that, it's going to open up in this larger menu. And you're going to see AirDrop is one of the options. Now, it knows that my MacBook Pro is also in the list of devices that I tend to AirDrop to. You're going to actually see Adam's MacBook Pro listed. But for right now, I'm just going to tap on that AirDrop icon. And what it would do is it's going to show you a list of all the devices that are in your area. And all I need to do is tap on that. And it's going to send the file over to my Mac. And you'll see now it's done. And on my Mac, it's opening right up. And you'll see that that image is now right there. Get that over a little bit so you can actually see that on the screen. And there's the image sent from my iPhone directly to my MacBook. And again, this works for anything. It doesn't matter if it's iPad or Mac Mini, or MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs, iPhones, any of those devices, they all have this capability, and it's all done through that share menu. For example, let me open up my Dropbox, and let me go to my files. Let's say again, let me go into Fourscore, let's say Brass Quintet. Let's say I want to airdrop this Barber Adagio to somebody. Again, I come in here, they have that share option. Again, it's a completely different app, not even a native Apple app, and that share icon's there. Just might take a little while for you to find it. And here's that same menu that I can use, and I can click on AirDrop and AirDrop it right over to the device that I want to send it to. Again, you want to be very careful about your settings, especially with your iPhone. You just don't want to make sure you get some really interesting airdrops, unless that doesn't bother you. You always have the chance to decline them. I can tell you it's only happened two or three times, and I've been on an iPhone for, I can't even remember how long, but I've been on an iPhone since the 4S, and I'm getting ready to get the iPhone 13 here in another couple of weeks. So again, it doesn't happen very often, but is kind of something you want to be aware of with the settings. So just make sure you set the settings how you want them. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled. So any devices that are within the classroom that you're in, you'll be able to send files to. So it's a great way, especially in a classroom, if you've got students working on something and maybe you need to send an image to them, or maybe you have a template that you want them to use, you can quickly airdrop it to the students. Or if the students are submitting work to you, they can airdrop the work right over to you, which makes it so much simpler than going in, setting up an email, and doing all that stuff. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment comment down below as I do check my comments constantly as I will use those for inspiration for future videos or if I can just help you out in general I am more than happy to do that so again please don't hesitate to leave a comment if you have any questions below or run into any issues otherwise this is Adam on tech signing off